What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are gonna do something a little bit different. We are gonna go over some of our favorite winter fishing baits, uh, how we fish them, um, target fish that we'd use for them, and we're gonna do some lure making. We're gonna make some custom spinners with EWG hooks uh, for swim bait fishing. So before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to us, we appreciate all your support, but let's get to the lures. All right, so we're gonna show you the lures we're making tonight. Um, it is a generic spinnerbait with an O-ring attached and some EWG hooks, both twist lock and standard. Uh, I super glue the baits on the standard EW EWGs. Um, we use generic spinners and I'll peel these stickers off later, but uh, I usually throw a Blue Fox uh, 5 or 4 and a MEPS 5 or 4, but I'm not going to uh, cannibalize a $7 to $10 spinnerbait. So, yeah, not doing that. So first thing you do, I did this before, um, I shot the footage. You take uh, two pairs of pliers and you snap that old hook. I just bend it back and forth. Um, you know, on these generic ones, the metal here is really fragile, so just grab the hook on the eyelet and then on the, the shaft of the hook and then just twist it till it snaps. But So first step is getting your O-ring through your EWG. So you already did that on this one. You just use your pliers with the tip and crimp between. So we already did that part. So next you take the bottom of the spinner because I have not paid attention and taken the top and you're going to feed that through. Like that. And then boom. Spin that boy around. And you're done. So that is what you got. I'm not going to bait this up. Uh, on this size, I'd probably throw a K Tech, but that's basically the finished product for that. And we have a few to make. I'm not going to do it on camera, but just wanted to share some of the little uh, custom stuff that, you know, we've seen other people do that we tried and we've had good success with, but that's the lure making and we've done it. This was a maps that I got my hooks bent on, uh, but you know, same principle, maps number five, same thing. And then even this is with a one knot. This is I'm sorry. This is a super flu junior. I made this one, so pretty cool. If you uh, if you ever get your hooks caught and bend your hooks on spinner baits, that is definitely useful for them. They're not trash. Cut them off. Make something different. And like I said, these are generic ones. So there's like these weird, funny spinner ones. I don't know. It's just fun experimenting, making stuff. So if you uh, if you've ever got custom ideas for for rigs and jigs and whatnot send them our way comment below let us know because it'd be fun to try some new stuff um you know we're not fishing we're trying to think of stuff to do to keep us occupied keep us in the mood to fish and this is definitely one of them so yeah that's it for the lure making we'll go ahead and get to some of our favorite winter baits and how we fish them and just you know generally go over the kind of stuff we use All right, so I'm gonna cover some of the lures that we like to fish in the winter. Um, generally targeting, I mean, I always target bass, but pickerel, pike, and muskie and stuff like that. So um, these are just my my boxes I take out 
on the kayak with me. There's more, but I consolidated so I can kind of just have a little less. So obviously, uh, pretty standard crankbaits. Um, I don't tend to like the short, shallow diving flat bills as much. This is a gill pattern. I use this more um, in the spring and the fall. But um, any sort of sexy shad pattern that you have. Let me adjust this. Sexy shad pattern and... Um, Yes, yeah, so this is a deeper diving crank, and you know, I, I want to start speed cranking. If you don't know what that is, uh, just look up Tactical Bass, and they have a great video on it. But it requires a sleeker um, crankbait, uh, and you basically just reel as fast as you can and stop. And, you know, they've been saying that in winter it really triggers fish to bite, even if they're lethargic. So uh, this is medium depth dive, um, 12 feet, and, you know, I just... Long cast, crank it so it dives down, and then just just pop or retrieve, um, bounce it off stuff when it stops. Um, lipless cranks, you know, we fish them all year round, but uh, certain patterns that I've lost aren't so good in the winter, uh, or are better in the winter. I would never, I don't really throw craw in the winter. Uh, probably a go-to bait of mine, jerk baits, husky jerk from Rapala. If I can get you to stop hugging each other here. So, jerkbait from Rapala. This is the clown pattern. I, I really love this pattern. Um, fire, I have Fire Tiger as well in the same. This is the 4 inch. It is, uh, the Fire Tiger is on my reel right now, but the same concept. Jerkbait. Um, you know, jerkbaits are fantastic for the winter time. You cast them out, let them, let them dive down. 6 to 8 feet is what this dives at and you let them sit and you're twitching with your rod tip you're not like sporadic twitching like what you would with a big swim bait but just let it sit let it suspend and then let it wiggle with the current or wherever you're at and then give it a little movement and let it sit there's been times when it's been 20 30 seconds of letting it sit and then after you give it that twitch that little tiny tip rod tip twitch you get slammed so probably husky jerk another favorite and you know any sort of pattern jerk bait that you you can throw this is a baby bass obviously so now i know a lot of people i don't know how many of you fish top water i always try to fish top water it's my favorite so river to sea uh a go-to top water bait that is non-frog um excuse my mess i didn't clean up the old line is good old whopper plopper I love Whopper Plopper's bone pattern. This is the Ozark version. I, I mean, it has pretty good action, but as you can see, the back spindle is not as tight. I see that gap right there. It tends to get caught up in stuff. Um, I like the original. This is the, uh, the albino color. And this is the 90F series by River to Sea. And River to Sea also makes really good, um, really good jerk uh, crankbaits for speed cranking too. Uh, they're just twenty dollars, and I don't, I don't feel like losing a twenty dollar lure. And then this is the monkey butt pattern. This is also the ninety, and they're great. Got rattles, a lot of, a lot of noise, a lot of action. Um, Whopper ploppers to go to pretty much all year for us. So we will flip to the flip side. What is winter fishing without jigs? Spinnerbaits, so obviously we have different, multiple different types of chatterbaits. Um, you know, the Z-Man chatters with a Yamamoto trailer or a Fluke trailer or whatever you may have. Um, I steady retrieve those, drop them, let them sit on the bottom, um, pick them up. Sometimes I fish them fast at first to get some noise to stir up and then, you know, slow them down. Um, but pretty much all of our chatterbaits we take in colors. Um, and then obviously we have a little brighter if we feel a little flashy with a super fluke junior trailer i love super flukes if you didn't notice on the lures we made i used mainly super flukes um, they hold up really well um, bass jigs weedless bass jig i mean when you talk about slow fishing that's i have two tied up on my reels right now and this is the tackle wave runner um, pretty pretty popular company in the snakehead community um, make great frogs but this is their wave runner with a k-tech swim bait chartreuse color 
and then like I said your standard blue and black bass jig usually use a chunk trailer or a crawfish trailer for that one and I've, I've swam these I've let them sit for a while hop them um, I like to use Ned rigs I did not showcase those because obviously if I say Ned rig it's like the hotness and everybody knows what it is so all right so we'll move on so just the different colors I prefer for swim baits and then we'll wrap this up so uh, run a little low but green pumpkin super fluke paddle tail striking shad pattern these mini flukes are nice but if you see how thin they are on the bottom they're really hard to get anything bigger than a one-out hook in um, they still have the grooves in the middle but we have both paddle and we have Shad pattern and Mr. Bubblegum Super Fluke split tail. I love bubblegum pattern. It's one of my favorite flukes to throw besides white, which you'll see I'm almost out. Oh, and another thing, don't let them get in the same package together because this is like stained pink. I don't know, maybe that would be like a killer secret bait or something. Super Fluke and white. And then KTEX. I really do like the Guggen Saucy Swimmers, but they don't hold up as well as some of the other ones. I don't know if it's the slaunch sauce or they had a lot of salt in them, but they don't they don't usually hold up as, as good. One more little thing I'll show just for the sake of it. So for our hooks. For those of you that use underspins, you already know the fantastic um, VMC. It is a nice two watt with twist lock underspin, and that's really a great action um, in the water. You can throw anything on this thing. Um, yeah, and then just EWG hooks, but that's boring. Nobody wants to see that. So, yeah. Thanks everyone for watching. Hopefully you learned something new today, whether it be a new lure to try, some new patterns, colors, or techniques to fish them. Winter is definitely a great time to fish for bass, pickerel, pike, muskie. We're still hitting it hard, so hopefully you guys get out on the water and use some of the stuff we showed. If anybody has any ideas for some new baits for us to try or a custom lure, please drop a comment below. We'll give you credit for it, we'll shout you out, and we'll definitely highlight it out on the water. But until next time, we'll see you.